you know, the effect it had all, all my impairments are physical. So I consider myself very lucky because the uh, tumor was, like I mentioned before, between the uh, brain stem and the cerebellum, and that's probably one of the worst places to have a tumor. So I'm, I'm very lucky to be where I am today, and I'm very grateful to be, able, you know, number one alive, right? And, you know, I think that's part of the reason why I'm such a group ball now, because I'm like, I don't care. You know, I had surgery, I had great surgery. A lot of people say, you know, cancer or a brain tumor is a blessing in disguise. I'm like, screw that, it's not a blessing. <laughs> you know, it's more of an awakening, but not, not a blessing. So, I mean, I think it has opened a, a few doors up for me. And like I mentioned before in the video, I've kind of got a right out attitude towards everything. So, um, you know, I think, you know, I think it's made me more aware of what I can do, not what I can't do. So I'm very, very grateful for that. But a blessing, no way. You know, depression is a big issue. Uh, for me, I found that if I keep myself busy, you know, it kind of, kind of helped out with that. You know, so I ended up writing a writing book, making a bunch of videos, been on TV a few times, did a little bit of traveling. So I'm finding ways to keep myself busy. So kind of avoiding the whole. Time. Uh, it, it took me about three months. You know, most people it takes a while because you know they don't they don't think anything can happen to them. But I knew what symptoms to look out for. Again, I kind of said that uh, you know I had issues for every symptom. You know, there was the headaches, the nausea, the dizziness, and whatnot. And uh, you know, like I said, I did have an excuse for them. But you know, once I started getting facial numbness, it's when I was like, I gotta get things checked out because something's not right. And it, it did take about three months. And I, I'm kind of a kind of a free spirit, I guess you could say. So you know that that was one of the big things that, that I that I'm still dealing with right now. I mean just even coming up here by myself. They're like, what are you sitting with? Where are you going? What are you gonna do? You know, when are you coming back? <laughs> you know, so I mean I, I think that's just me. A Filipino child, so I think all parents are like that. The main thing is that you know a, a lot of people are affected by by a diagnosis of cancer or a brain tumor, and uh, you know I, I think just having those perspectives of you know obviously you know, as a young adult and as a you know, physical therapists are helping a care professional. I want to bring that to life, but the biggest thing is though, the, uh, the perspectives of my loved ones. You know, that, that's something that really isn't addressed all that much, I believe. The math kickers kind of evolved from uh, the whole tumor sucks sticker. Um, I think their stickers are under some so I'll make sure you grab them. But what I did was I started a group on Facebook called Tumor Sub. And you know, within a few months it was like 500 members. And then I was like, hey, I should probably take this a little bit more seriously. So I ended up going into starting a nonprofit for, you know, specifically the newly diagnosed patient. And uh, you know, it, it kind of grew from there. You know, we're in the process right now of getting our federal no nonprofit status, so you know, hopefully that'll be done in the next six months. But uh, it's definitely evolved from just going around on Facebook and saying, "Hey, what's up?" And then it's developing quite a following. So you know, if you get the chance, go ahead and check it out, or you can check out the Mass Keepers group on Facebook. There are a lot of uh, you know, advocacy and survivorship organizations out there. You know, the thing I want to do with Master University is make it more research based. You know, fund fundraise for research. Um, I, I, I do sit on the advisory board for the Brain Science Foundation in, in Boston. So, you know, I'm looking to get a lot more involved with research. That's the nerd in me. The main goal. <laughs> yeah. I 
I've, I've already had a few events of Gata. I had an event in Michigan this past summer, uh, paintball benefit. So it was actually kind of cool because, uh, you know, I got one of the sponsored paintball teams to be shooting targets for us, for moving targets. So basically, it just ran back and forth in the shop. <laughs> it was pretty fun. But uh, I do have a few more things in store. So, you know, definitely check out the website and I'll uh, be updated. But I do have some pretty good ideas, so check it out.